Prince Cinders. Written and illustrated by Babette Cole. Prince Cinders was not much of a prince. He was small, spotty, scruffy, and skinny. He had three big hairy brothers who were always teasing him about his looks. They spent their time going to the palace disco with princess girlfriends. They made poor Prince Cinders stay behind and clean up after them. When his work was done, he would sit by the fire and wish he was big and hairy like his brothers. One Saturday night when he was washing the socks, a dirty fairy fell down the chimney. All your wishes shall be granted, cried the fairy. Ziz, ziz, boom, tick, tack, ta, this empty can shall be a car. Biff, bang, bong, bo, 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 to the disco you shall go. That can't be right, said the fairy. Toe of rat and eye of newt, your rags will turn into a suit. Drat, thought the fairy. I didn't mean a swimsuit. Your greatest wish I'll grant to you, you shall be big and hairy too. Prince Cinders got big and hairy all right. Rats, said the fairy. Wrong again but I'm sure it all wears off at midnight. Prince Cinders didn't know he was a big hairy monkey because that's the kind of spell it was. He thought he looked pretty good. So off he went to the disco. The car was too small to drive, but he made the best of it. But when he arrived at the Rock and Royal Bash, he was too big to fit through the door. He decided to take the bus home. A pretty princess was waiting at the stop. When's the next bus? He grunted. Luckily, midnight struck and Prince Cinders changed back into himself. The princess thought he had saved her by frightening away the big hairy monkey. Wait, she shouted. But Prince Cinders was too shy. He even lost his trousers in the rush. The princess was none other than the rich and beautiful Princess Lovely Penny. She put out a proclamation to find the owner of the trousers.